regular wages are experiencing a steep decline amid rising inflation in Taiwan. Although the average monthly wage reached nearly forty-five thousand NT dollars in 2022, marking a new high in 23 years, it has decreased by 0.15 percent when adjusted for inflation. As a result, many office workers are choosing to transition into freelancers or gig workers to negotiate better pay packages and shorter work hours. I started taking freelance jobs and accepted every case in the beginning, whether it was copywriting or designing websites. Over time, I developed a stronger interest in writing video game scripts. At the moment, I can earn up to one hundred thousand NT dollars per month. And my work hours are significantly shorter than those of office workers. Jen, a new freelancer, used to handle cases while maintaining her nine-to-five job, boosting her regular monthly wage of twenty-four thousand NT dollars to up to sixty thousand NT dollars. Currently, gig work extends beyond delivery platforms and has gained traction in the digital sector as well. In the U.S., approximately twenty-three million people are engaged as gig workers. In Taiwan, experts have disclosed that this growing trend has led to over 100,000 people per month accepting cases and receiving compensation through online platforms. The gig economy has undergone significant developments over the past 10 years, driven by shifts in time and environment. Nevertheless, experts caution that since contract-based work is often excluded from labor laws, gig workers must ensure their rights are safeguarded within their contracts with temporary employers. As young adults embrace freelance work, evaluating the risks, costs, and benefits for a future career path are all essential factors to be considered in this gig economy. Liu Yanxuan, Cui Chongqun, Vivian Xiao, TVBS World Taiwan.